Well, two days, two lockdowns at the Dighton Rehoboth Regional High School. After bullets were found inside a bathroom at the high school yesterday, the school was put into lockdown for three hours. Good morning, Providence reporter Yanni Tregellis is live for us in the newsroom with more on the recent string of events that has left those in the community concerned. Yanni? During Wednesday was the second day in a row Dighton Rehoboth Regional High School has been put into lockdown. This comes just over two weeks after the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. And these recent incidents at the high school now have some parents in the school district questioning whether or not they want to send their kids to school. Now, the first incident happening on Tuesday where police say threatening graffiti was found in a boy's bathroom at the high school. And on Wednesday, the school placed into lockdown again at about 930 after a student found two bullets inside the same bathroom as Tuesday's incident. Now, Dighton and Rehoboth P. We're joined by canine units from the Dartmouth, Fall River, and Providence Police Departments until the scene was cleared. And following the conclusion of the lockdown at 12:30, police say a faulty smoke detector sounded a fire alarm, resulting in the school being evacuated. And Dighton police say they do not believe there is a credible threat to the school and released a statement saying, "Quote: The safety of our school students and staff is our top priority, and we do we will do everything we can to thoroughly investigate these threats. We'd like to remind the community that we take all threats such as these seriously, as they are a huge destruction." to our school community and will pursue this until charges are filed end quote and some parents in the community are concerned about the safety of their children at this time and they are expected to express those concerns at the next school committee meeting which is scheduled for next Tuesday in the newsroom Yanni Trigels ABC 6 News